Is Lex Luthor finally dead once and for all? We'll find out in Superman, The Last Days of Lex Luthor, number one. Um, if you're new to the channel, then you know that Superman, or you don't know that Superman is my favorite character of all time, not my favorite comic book character or DC character, any character. My favorite character, more than Indiana Jones, more than Batman, more than Wonder Woman, Swamp Thing, though I do love all those other characters I just mentioned, but no, Superman is my favorite. I try to keep up with all the Superman stuff that comes out. I have to say that Superman for me has been a lot better in the last maybe year or two. So um, prior to that, I don't think it was really that great. It was like, okay, um, the Bendis stuff, I don't actually despise the Bendis stuff. Like I know everyone's like, oh, this Bendis guy. I'm not that angry over it, but I was just kind of like, eh. And revealing the identity, that was just, I don't know. I just, nah, not for me. Um, I love Superman. If you're into pre-crisis Superman, which is my favorite Superman, um, pretty much anything pre-crisis, I do have a Facebook group, which all of a sudden got about a bunch of members the other day. So really great to have some uh, extra members on there. The link to that Facebook group is in the description. If you're so interested in pre-crisis and you're one of the few people that still use Facebook. Um, I don't have... I. I don't have the physical copy of this. I had a long day today at my day job, so I was not able to go to the comic shop. I'm definitely buying this on physical. So, but we're gonna look at it digitally just to get the review out there. Now, this actually came out yesterday, depending on when you're seeing this. Um, if you're watching this video on YouTube, um, then you're seeing it at least a week late because I do give all my Patreon subscribers uh, a week or more early access to my current comic book reviews and movie reviews. So if you're so inclined and you want to see some stuff early, and if you just want to support the channel, um, you can sign up at patreon.com slash jman77. Link is in the description. Let's talk about the last days of Lex Luthor. I'm going to review this using my space, system, story, pacing, artistry, characters, enjoyment. Each category gets a score between 0 and 2. 2 is the best you can get in any category. This comic book is being compared to other Superman titles and not other comic books throughout the ages. I'm not comparing this to Watchmen or Swamp Thing or Dark Knight Returns. Comparing it to Superman stuff of the current times. I'm gonna give the storyline a pretty damn good mark. Man, I think I'm gonna give this a two out of two for story. I gotta tell you, I don't know what happened here. This kind of intrigued me. So I went through a lot of emotions on this comic. When I saw Superman in the Last Days of Lex Luthor, I was like, yeah, I don't care. I, look, I, look what, is he, what is he, dead? That's it, he's, got, he's gone, right, no. I mean, even if he is dead, he's coming back, right? But, I'm like, well, I'll just get it. <laughs> I'm just gonna get it anyways, just because that's, that's how it goes. So I was like, well, let's just get it. So Superman here um, starts out with this, uh, so two out of two for story, starts out with Lex Luthor, a big machine is attacking, uh, Superman comes, saves the day, grabs the, gets the machine, comes in, and is like, Luther, what the hell are you doing? And he's like, well, uh, I'm dying and I need to get your attention. So it turns out that Lex Luthor is dying. The story is that he was messing with kryptonite, trying to synthesize it, bombarding it with other kinds of radiation, doing experiments, backfired on him. His, now, his cells are decaying, he's going to be aging, all this kind of stuff. So he's dead, there's no cure. Superman decides that yes, I will cure you because I don't want people to die. Um, so I'm not gonna spoil this whole thing because it's actually pretty good. That's the very basic plot, but there's a very basic story idea, but the plot is pretty good. There's a lot of little things like they go to Candor, there's Phantom Zone stuff. So there's a lot of little things that happened that I thought were really, really cool. That's why I'm giving it two out of two. Now one means it's okay, two means it's great. So I'm giving it a great score. So two out of two for the story, I really liked it. Pacing, I'm actually going to give the pacing, it's tough. This is a 50 pager. Normally that would not sit well with me, but I think I'm going to give it a two out of two for pacing because I actually wasn't bored and I, and I was pretty interested in what's going on. There's not really a lot of action though. So if I was being more critical, I, maybe I'd give it a one and a half and knock it for a bit, but I'm gonna give it a two because I personally wasn't bored, though some people might give this a one or a one and a half for pacing. It's a little long and it's a part one. So anytime they do part one of whatever, I'm always thinking, does this really need to be several parts? 
Um, that's going to be a time will tell. We'll see if this really needed to be more than one comic. It probably could have just been one, but who knows? I've been reading so many pre-crisis uh, Superman stories, especially adventure comics and sort of the, the Kurt Swan era. And it's all, most of the time it's one-off issues. There was that whole sand person one. Uh, but like most of the time they're one-offs and they're all amazing. And they tell a lot of story in that one comic. Newer comics tend to be very slow and very like drawn out, uh, usually for no reason. We'll see how it goes. But for now, two out of two on the pacing. The art, I'm going to give it a one. Uh, the art to me is like, it's good. It's a pass. Uh, I'm not really dying over it. I mean, you know, colors are okay, you know, inks are fine. I'm not a fan of the way Superman and Lex look when they're doing full shots. When they have like a zoom in of their face, it's okay. Like this is a nice, that's nice, right? But then sometimes the faces don't look very good to me. Like this just, I'll zoom in a bit. Like this just looks weird. So I'm gonna give it a one, which means it's a pass, the art was okay. The characters, um, there's really just Lex and, and, and Superman in this. So I'm actually gonna give it a two because I like that Superman's gonna try to help him. I know it's predictable. Superman doesn't want people to die. Uh, and Lex does a couple of shady ass things. He does Lex Luthor type things. There's other, there's another character in here, which I thought was pretty cool uh, handled. And yeah, there wasn't, I wasn't thinking like, oh, these characters are trash. It really is just Superman and Lex the whole time, pretty much. But they're both written really well for me in this book. So I'm going to give it a two out of two. Um, enjoyment factor, I'm going to give it a two out of two. I'm going to give this a nine out of 10. Uh, I wish the art was a little bit more to my liking and it would have been a 10 out of 10 Superman book. We haven't got one of those in a friggin' long time. Uh, although I will say Superboy, the man of tomorrow has just been stellar for me. But uh, And Superman has been pretty good too. Action comics is, yeah, it's okay. Uh, Superman Lost has been like, a couple issues have been really great and then a couple have not been that good. And I know that they're drawing it out, but I don't I don't think they should, it's too long. Superman Lost is too long. Should have been half the issue size. If it's a 12 parter or if it's 10 parter, should have been a five parter. But this one is really good. Let's see where it goes. Um, it could potentially go lower because if, they, if I start to feel that they're just dragging this out and they're not getting anywhere, I will knock it on story and pacing. So where I'm at right now is a 9 out of 10, which is pretty damn high. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments on this one. I have no idea where the public's going to go. I can only give you my personal thoughts. I enjoyed reading this. And I'm, I'm, I'm critical, but not super critical. I'm not super critical of Superman because I love Superman. So as long as it's kind of half decent, I'm going to go high. Um, some people who are super critical are going to probably rank this lower. They might give it like a six or a seven out of 10 and then be like, yeah, that was okay. I'm giving it a nine out of 10. I, I, I'm not, I'm not ashamed of that review. I think it's pretty good. I really enjoyed it. So I can only tell you what I, what I thought. Uh, but that is it. Okay, guys. Thank you so much until next time. Yeah.